Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today what I want to talk about is setting yourself goals. It's so important that you set yourself goals. The reason for this is if there is no target, how do you ever expect to hit it? My goal in particular uh, on this video, I will, you may have already seen in the description and the thumbnail of course, but um, I want to just tell you a little bit of a story about how I managed to get to this point and why this is one of my goals. So I know in the last video what we spoke about was, um, you know, fancy cars, supercars and things like that. Now, yes, those are still some of my goals, but I want to talk to you about your goals. Maybe you're watching this video and you're thinking about, you know, you've, maybe you've got no direction or where to get started. And I'm just going to give you a really simple example of a roadmap that I used and that I set out as a personal achievement of which, yes, by now um, I, you can tell I have achieved that. And I'm super proud to be sharing this with you. So before we get to the, the bike I want to share with you in this video is I want to show, tell you about my past bikes and how did it lead up to this point. What happened was uh, my first bike here in the UK was a fantastic, the Suzuki GSX-S750. This had the legendary K4, K5 GSX-R750 motor in it. Now for some people have described this bike as a motocross bike or a naked, well, it's a naked bike of course, upright sitting position. They have described this motorbike as a super a motocross bike with a super bike engine in it. And it was absolutely superb. Um, I did a lot of commuting to and from London on this bike and you know, the view and everything that you see is, is, is really, really great. I then sold this bike and I, I then bought myself the Honda CBR650R. That was also a fantastic bike, a really good uh, bike to get, you know, sort of get familiar with the touring stroke superbike uh, handling of, of the motorcycle. Now, the, the goal I want to share with you today is I always wanted, now I, I must, it has to be said that I am a Suzuki fan. So you can tell there by the Jersey uh, Suzuki uh, hoodie that I've got on today. Fan. So yes, I went onto the Honda side of things, but I've always, ever since I was 16, I had a bike in school, a little 150. That was also a, uh, a Suzuki as well. So I always wanted, I always wanted like a, a GSX-R 600 or a 750. I thought about the thousand, but it never really crossed my mind. I think the, the, the real middle weight would probably be the 750. Now, here in the UK, they don't make the 750 anymore. So when I spoke to the fantastic guys at the dealership, they said to me, why don't I get the 1000? Because I, it has the A, B, and C modes, but it has all the technology, cornering, ABS, assist, etc., that will look after you, but you can also detune the power. And then if you want to step that up again, then you have the 1000. So I said, okay. Then it came down to price. Now, the bikes that I had were probably in the realm of about, say, uh, six to seven, eight, nine thousand pounds. Whereas the GSX-R1000R is uh, about 17,000 pounds. So how did I go from a 6,000 or 7,000 pound motorcycle to a 17,000 pound motorcycle? And that's what I wanna share with you guys today. It's about setting the goals and how I managed to achieve that. So what I did is I sent out a roadmap and, a, a, and some goals that I needed to have in place so that when I walked into that dealership and they said to me that your bike is ready for collection, there was gonna be no hiccup with finance, there wasn't gonna be any snags, or I was fully prepared and all my goals or my to-do list were ticked and ready to go so that I knew that when I walked into that dealership, there wasn't gonna be any problems. So what did I do? What I did is I, made sure that I had to have ex so much deposit um, to make sure that when it came to the finance, you know, I had the necessary for the insurance in place. There was no like uh, surprises as to, I'd done all my homework leading up to that point. And one of the best things was I'd walked into the dealership and there it was, it was standing in the dealer and it was all, it was, it had its PDR, which is, which is what's called its pre-delivery inspection but it hadn't been, you know, I wanted the nice tail tidy on the back. Unfortunately, <laughs> it still has got the dustbin as some people call it, which I'll, I'll show you here. Um, this is what we refer to as the dustbin on the back. But because of Euro 4, Euro 5 emissions, that is what it is. And let's be honest, we're gonna change that anyway, aren't we? But I have some future videos coming up on that soon as well. So why am I telling you about this bike and why am I telling you about goals to get this bike? So 
The bark was first introduced to me, I think it was September, October, maybe 2020. And I said, yeah, I definitely want to have that. So from October leading up to December when the bark actually arrived and when I had to take delivery. Uh, so delivery of the motorcycle was on the 1st of December, 2020. So not much riding, I'm afraid, uh, lately, especially with the snowy weather and things that we've had here. But I made sure that the credit was okay, deposit was in line, all of these things that were there so that I made sure that I worked towards what I wanted to achieve. And I'm very proud to say I now own a Suzuki, one of a hundred here in the UK, limited edition GSX-R 1000R. So here's a little video on what the bike looks like. Check it out. So in future videos, I am gonna, um, I'm thinking about taking you guys on a ride with me as well. So to be honest with you, as you know from my previous videos, I've just got this little stand and I'm actually recording you from my iPhone. So I'm still in the early phases of this, so I hope this video comes across well. But I am gonna be investing in, I've done some uh, research as well, a GoPro 7. Leave your comments below if you think there's a better camera. Um, I know there's the eight and the nine of course, but budget bearing. What would you guys use for motor blogging and what would your ideal setup be? I've seen different setups where you've got microphones that go from the GoPro, you know, into the helmet or, you know, there's what they call a, a Tascam, I think it's a Tascam, uh, DR05, it's a bit of an older device and there's some, there's some clever ways of editing the videos as well. But let me know what you guys think and what your setup is. If you guys are currently motor vlogging as well, if you could share some advice or tips and I'll be sure to take that on board and hopefully see you soon in the next video where I've got my setup and we can go for a ride on the new GSX-R 1000R. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.